most common question I get on this channel is related to skincare, but it turns out it's not. The most common question I get on this channel is, what lipstick are you wearing? So today I'm gonna round up my top five favorite lipsticks and kind of like the combination in which I wear them. I do really like to wear nude kind of colored lipsticks, what we consider to be nude lipsticks when I'm on camera. And I think it's more so because it brings the focus up to my eyes and not so much down to my lips. I used to be really into bright pops of color and every once in a while I'll still wear a red lipstick or a bright like pink or you know something like in the mauve tones. But what I tend to wear when I'm on camera are shades of you know like a, a nude, a pinky nude, beige, just neutral, neutral colors. And then we use lots of different lip glosses on top of them and we use lots of lip liners and stuff. So the first combination is the one that I have on now. The lipstick is one of my all time, like long time favorites and that is by YSL, it is their Rouge Volupte Shine. These lipsticks are a little bit pricey. They kind of feel like my luxury purchase but they last for a while. I have a few shades that I really, really love but this one is really, this is a go-to. It's shade number 44. These are literally called like lipstick balms and that is exactly what they feel like on your lips. I used to be really into a matte lipstick kind of look but over the past year, especially Especially, we've really gone for more of like a natural glossy kind of look. Sometimes my lips are even more glossy than they are right now. This I do not have to put a lip gloss on because it is so balmy and so hydrating on the lips. It feels like a balm when you put it on too. You almost don't even need like a mirror when you're applying this. It also has this like signature scent that takes me back to like my 20s when really all I could afford was like a really nice luxury lipstick. So that's what I would do is like, I'd get like an expensive YSL lipstick and put it in my bag and then I'd pull it out, you know, when I was like touching up my makeup and it looked like I was a little bit fancy or at least that's what I would tell myself. <laughs> so these are very nostalgic for me just because of the scent of it too. But number 44 is my favorite color of this lipstick range. But because it is such a light pink color, I do wear a lip liner with this one for sure. And you know, the lip liner serves two different purposes. It helps to define my lips, but it also adds a little bit more color to it. So this one is by Laura Mercier and the color is Plumberry. So it actually gives it a little bit of like a mauve tone to it. So that is combination number one is this Laura Mercier lip liner in the color Plumberry and then this YSL Volup Shine lipstick balm in number 44 and that is what I'm wearing right now. Next up is this. It is also a combination. I wear this lipstick by IT Cosmetics and this Bobbi Brown lip liner. So this lip liner color is nude and I use it with this one because the color is a little bit more of like a beige slash like brownish almost like even orangey undertone to it. I love this color. I love the lipstick. The consistency of it is really, really nice. It's kind of like it walks the line of being balmy. Like it's not matte for sure because I don't have to use a lip gloss with this one, but it feels nice on your lips. It feels like it's moisturizing, but it doesn't feel like it's going to move at all. Like sometimes when you put on a really balmy or glossy lipstick, it feels like it'll wipe off pretty easily, but this one doesn't feel like that at all. It's also infused with collagen, which just makes it really hydrating for your lips and it just makes your lips look a little bit, just a little bit fuller. This is the color Vision and I really like it. It's just a really nice, beautiful, creamy consistency. And when you pair it with this lip liner, it's just the perfect color. And we've got our third combination. This combination actually does not have any lip liner and that's because of the pigment of this one by Laura Mercier. This is the Laura Mercier Rouge Essential Silky Cream Lipstick Creme creme lipstick. I've had so many questions about this lipstick by Laura Mercier. The color I think is called Beige Intime or Beige in Time. Beige Intime, I don't really know. But the lipstick is a beautiful lipstick. On its own, it's a very nicely pigmented, creamy consistency. It has like a satin finish, so it's not glossy or balmy, but it's not matte either. So it feels really comfortable on the lips and it gives you that nice color. It has like a mauve undertone, but I always combine it with a lip gloss. And the one that I'm wearing right now is by Buxom. This color is Bellini. And this is kind of like an old school formula. I've been using these Buxom lip glosses for a very, very long time, like over a decade. They are creamy, they are obviously glossy, but they also have a little bit of a like a minty feel to them. So they give you that like plumper look to your lips a little bit. These are really one of the only plumping lip glosses that I still use and I really like them. One of the things to know is that I don't really blend this together. Nikki's constantly like, she puts it on me and she's like, do not smack your lips together for this one because she does not want the colors to mix too much. But when you add this to it, it gives it more of like a rosy 
kind of tone to it. So it's like a rosy pink tone to it. And I really like it. This one is one of the ones that I wear the most and one of the ones that you guys ask about the absolute most. Next combination, ta-da! This is kind of like a peachy, peachy pink. This is actually a big combination. So I have my Bobbi Brown lip liner. This is the nude lip liner again. You know, once you have kind of like your nude lip liner down, you're good. The lipstick is by Pixi. I've talked about this one a few times. It is a very, very matte lipstick. The color is Nectar. It can be a little bit hard to put on. It's not as creamy as any of the other ones that I've talked about, but I love the color so much and it's such a good price. It's like 12 bucks and it lasts forever. And then I just top it with one of my favorite, like maybe my all time favorite lip gloss and that is by Fenty Beauty. This is the original gloss balm lip gloss, the original color. When this came out, I was obsessed with it and we still use it all the time on set. So this is the lip gloss that I put on this and I put it on a lot of my different lipsticks too, but that combination makes what you see right here. And this lipstick, in my opinion, needs, it's a really, really matte lipstick. So I feel like it really needs some kind of a lip gloss or a lip balm. And then the last combination, surprise, surprise, it's another version of beige. I realize all of the colors I've shown you have been some version of like a nude color, but that's really what I wear on camera. And I wanted to show you guys kind of the rotation lately at least. So this one is Huda Beauty. This is the Demi Matte lipstick in the color Day Slayer. So this is a cream liquid lipstick. This isn't that matte. And I think that's something that you can also see as like a theme with all of my lipsticks is that I don't really wear my lipstick very matte, even the Pixi one that is a very matte lipstick. I still put a gloss on it so that it looks really healthy and more balmy. I went ahead and used the Bobbi Brown nude lip liner once again. So like I said, once you have like your neutral lip liner down, you pretty much like can stick with that for a lot of your lipsticks. And that's really just to define my lips. It gives a little bit of a color to it underneath, but this is so pigmented that it doesn't really shine through as much. But this color is truly like a beigey type of color. What's funny is we get like a lipstick PR shipment or something. The team will kind of dig through it and pick out the colors that we want. And everyone puts these like beige colors to the side and we're like, Nikki will, will show us how to use them. And it's really true. It's like she will sometimes look at these lipstick colors and she'll pick out the most like nude, beige, like neutral colored lipstick. And then she puts it on me and I'm like, oh, it turns out I really like that color. And these are the colors that you tend to see me wearing. If I'm wearing something that's like really different from my typical nude or beige color, it's because we're just trying to switch things up a little bit. But we always ultimately come back to these types of combinations. So that is kind of the rotation right now of the lipstick combinations I've been wearing. I realize again that these were, you know, different variations of nude, but I think the takeaway really is that finding your perfect nude lipstick really comes down to not just wearing the lipstick on its own. I either have to pair it with a lip liner that, you know, gives it a little bit more definition or changes the color slightly, or I top it with a lip gloss, or I do all three of those things. So the combination of how you wear your nude lipsticks really matters. And I think when people are usually asking what lipstick color I'm wearing, they're really wondering, how did you put that together? Like, how did you choose that color for your skin tone? And really, it's like you can almost make any nude color work if you have the right lip gloss or the right lip liner. So that's something to keep in mind. I will leave links to all of these lipsticks and the lip liners and the glosses in the description box below. If you're wondering what I've been wearing in a lot of the other videos, this is what I've been wearing. So I hope it was really, really helpful. If you have questions, ask me in the comments below. You can find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.